So, it's 2020, we've survived another circuit around the sun, and for this new year I want to encourage people to just simply spend more time in nature, spend more time away from screens, and spend more time practicing wellness limb skills. I believe they can benefit people's mental and physical health, it's a way of training self-confidence and self-reliance. It's also an opportunity to just get away from all the distractions of modern life and get right back down to basics and gain insight in what I believe humans have evolved to be. So this video is a condensed version of an article I wrote. I'll put a link to that article in the description below. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video, but without further ado, here are my four reasons you should practice wellness limb skills. One, life in a backpack, the beauty of simplicity. Our consumerist culture has brought us more comfort and convenience than ever before, but at an extreme environmental cost. So do all our belongings make us more free, or do they imprison us? For me, one of the most satisfying things about wild camping is learning to live with what you can comfortably carry on your back. It's about stripping away the layers of useless material baggage of the modern world and condensing down what you actually need in life to some basic items. You start to appreciate tools for their ruggedness, simplicity, and multifunctionality, as well as appreciating ways of maintaining and repairing them. You can use this experience to reflect on what you actually need, and from there you can declutter your life and learn to live with less. 2. Back to reality. What nature can teach us. Nowadays we live primarily sedentary lifestyles, spending hours staring at screens, our attention being constantly harvested by media and advertisers. Despite living longer and more comfortably than ever before, depression and anxiety are on the rise. So what's going on? Have we unwittingly domesticated our wild selves? Are we like wild animals in a zoo, relentlessly pacing up and down our self-built walls? Well, for the vast majority of human existence, we've been hunter-gatherers. This means we're absolutely hardwired to live close with nature. Our ancestors had to pay attention with every part of their body in order to track prey, forage and avoid predators. To them, the land was deeply enriched with meaning and belonging, embodied by spirits and myth. I feel like through practicing wellness limb skills I can connect to this reality, even in just a small way, which I believe is primal to the human experience. For me, a night in the wild is like pressing the reset button. It reminds me of what is real and what is important in this ever more confusing, civilised world. So switch off your phones, go into nature and pay attention with your entire body and get back to reality. 3. Lone Wolf. The importance of solitude in the wild. Before I get into this reason, I first want to say I'm not a complete loner and in fact it's one of the best joys in life to share your wilderness adventures with friends. Moreover, in terms of safety, I highly recommend having a buddy with you. But with that said, I have personally found it very beneficial to go on solo expeditions once in a while. We are hardwired social creatures, and through working together has allowed our species to survive and expand. Therefore, other people's opinions of us in the tribe was important for our survival. But what is the cost to always live for the eyes of others? When we have always been supported by loved ones in society, do we know our own capacity for self-reliance? The wild provides an excellent testing ground to learn self-reliance, build self-confidence, and better understand the inner workings of your mind. For me, it's also a chance to escape the social stage so I can be free to be my own weird self. But from spending time alone, it also makes me appreciate how much we actually need one another to survive and to be happy. 4. Gratitude for the norm There's something about the human mind that is always striving for more. We're always chasing that carrot on a stick, so to speak. While this isn't always a bad thing as it motivates us to always improve and adapt, it's not always conducive to our happiness. So what can we do about it? Almost every spiritual tradition around the world says that gratitude is one of the pillars of happiness. For me, wellness living skills brings me a lot of gratitude for the simple things in life. It makes me appreciate how much work it takes just to cover the basics of survival. And on returning from even a short trip, a simple hut feels like a palace fit for kings. Running water from a tap is a miracle, and a warm shower is divine. 
After spending days in solitude, there is no better feeling than sharing a meal in the company of loved ones. So enjoy the bare necessities and never be far from contentment. Without a regular connection to the wild, I worry that we humans might get lost in this confusing world of fake news and rapid technological advancement. I think wilderness slim skills have been beneficial for me and I hope it can be beneficial for you too. Just remember to be safe. There's a quote from John Muir that I think sums up my feelings well when he said, and into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. <laughs> Happy New Year folks.